Okay, so here's the evaporator that we just pulled out of that 601R. Uh, it's the new style. It's one piece aluminum. And I found, when I checked for leaks, I found uh, oil on this line here. As a matter of fact, I could feel it. It's right here. It's kind of slippery and greasy. So this is copper and this is aluminum. Can this evaporator be fixed? Yeah. But what you would have to do is you would have to cut this section off here, just below the blast joint. Take a piece of 3 8 tubing and solder it into the aluminum tubing with special kind of solder. I've, I've done this before. I do have a video on my channel that shows you how to do this. Now, normally I, I wouldn't bother with it because um, it's a lot easier to change the coil. But sometimes I do charity work for people. I help them out. I do jobs for cheaper and all. Since this is a new coil and a very expensive one at that, I could fix this. But I just wanted to mention that to you in case you're in a pickle someday and you can't um, you can't get the evaporator, you can fix this. But you have to be very careful because this aluminum tubing, you noticed in the video, I put a tie, cable tie on here to keep this thing from moving around because these things can break very easily down here. Um, but anyway, that's the story. Uh, if you want to fix it, just go check out my other uh, video on how to do that. Okay, so thanks for watching. That was a fairly easy job. I tried to keep it down uh, as fast as uh, possible. I, I wasn't talking very much because there were people in the house, uh, as you can hear in some parts of the video. And um, that's it. We'll see you next time.